So the 6662A has um, a three stage leg, you can lift that out, you can move it to the medium position, you can lift it out again and go to a very wide position. Uh, so that gives you a lot of versatility if you're doing macros looking down or you want to get really wide and low. Um, we have a, a screw adjustment here on the on the main beam. Uh, we have a, a, a thread on the base which allows us to unscrew the ball head and mount it upside down for really low uh, macro work. Uh, the head itself is an aluminium alloy and we've got a quick release lock and movement which is great for doing those portraits where you just want to get it right, lock it in, take your shots. Uh, on top we have a cork based quick release plate with a, a little safety mechanism here. This has to be turned out and then we can release and that's a, uh, like a lock in system there. Moving to the Six, uh, from the 6662A across to the 531, we have all those features, uh, but we've just upgraded a few things. This leg lock mechanism is a little nicer. It's just a thumb adjustment into each position. So that's a, an easier to adjust uh, lock. We have um, the magnesium alloy head, more durable. Uh, we've got all rubberized control. So here we have the lock in, so again, change position, lock in, nice. Um, but here's the, the new addition. We have a friction plate and on here we have graduated controls all the way around. And so we've got a control. So if you're doing panoramas where you, you want to move around, you can do your every 30 degrees, depending on the angle of your lens. Um, so that's an upgrade here. Obviously the magnesium alloy. On top, we have a, a metal rubberized plate, quick release plate. So that's to unlock it. Now we've also got a secondary position. The amount of people that have damaged their camera by not doing up their QR plate and having their camera hit the ground. So what this does is you unlock it and then you have to push that in to release the second, uh, the second release. Height wise, they're about the same. Um, you've got the adjustment of the neck again. One of the benefits going to the to the, uh, the new version is we've added this hook. So that hook unscrews to reveal your 3 8 inch thread, which is the same as underneath here. So again, you can unscrew this, mount it under there for your really low, uh, low level shooting. See so on the feet, we have a little spike that can be adjusted in if you're on a slippery surface. So let's stand about 1.2 metres, you can then extend the neck up here. And one of the benefits, you see this neck can go all the way through and then look. And that's to lock that in place. So I prefer the adjustment on the newer version. Lock that in. Again, three section legs. You just feel things a little tighter on these newer versions. Great. This, this one doesn't have the spike on the base, it's a rubber foot. But you'll see on the centre stem here, we have hook. Uh, so in, in high winds, uh, you can hook your bag on there, any gear you're not using, and that'll give you more stability on your tripod. Um, stability wise, I think this one does feel more sturdy. They're both rated to three kilos. However, I would say that um, I wouldn't be putting more than about two kilos of, of camera and, and lens on either of these. Uh, if you're shooting with anything more than a couple of kilos, I'd be moving up to one of the, the bigger tripods with a, with, a, with a higher rating and a larger leg section, which will give you more stability once you've got a couple of kilos on there. So you can extend this and that just locks in like that. That's quite sturdy as it is. This one is more of a twist. This one just feels more secure. You see the difference in movement there? So it's really hard to get this one locked in really secure. Still got there. So let's have a look at the hook. We 
drop this down a little bit. You can unscrew this hook to reveal the thread underneath. And screw this ball head. Screw that on there. You can mount your DSLR upside down and get some really low level shots. I'll show you how I would do that. Legs out to the medium position, and then just lock these down so you're just about on the ground. You can get as low as you need to there, and if you need to, you can put those into an even wider position and get really out close to the bugs or whatever it is, the flowers, and you're trying to shoot there. You actually don't have enough room there for your DSLR underneath, but you can see. You can get as low as you want. So that's the comparison of the two tripods. I think they've made some good improvements over the last two or three years from the 6.2A up to the 5.3 one.